Hey, welcome to my video review on the Charger City Periscope tablet stand and tripod. Now with this tripod kit, you do get the tablet holder, which will accommodate anywhere from a 7 to a 12 inch tablet, and you do get two different sizes of the brackets. They also include a Bluetooth remote, so you can control and take photos and videos with either your um, Android or your Apple product. It's got a built-in bubble level and then it's got a 360 degree vibration free joint mount. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the tripod itself so you can see how that functions. Right now I have it just sitting right on the tabletop. So when you um, get to the device you've got quite a few different things that this will do. For starters the tablet section um, it simply screws right onto a screw and there's a quick release that you can uh, just release the whole item right from the very top of the tripod. So that makes it much easier to get it on and off of that screw or to replace it with just a different item such as your DSLR camera. And then by um, just simply turning the nut on the side, you can also rotate it a whole 360 degrees which is great because that's gonna allow you to take photos or videos at almost any angle you wanna get at. So you do wanna make sure that you've got that tightened. And then on the top, you also have the ability to flip that backwards. So instead of being, oh, let's say you wanna shoot directly like a bird's eye view, so you're shooting down, you can simply loosen that up. And then you can also go ahead and adjust it at a different angle there. And then you can also flip it back. So you've got a variety of different angles that you can film at. And then also you have a crank that's located on the side that if you simply turn the crank, that allows you to adjust the height anywhere from 19 to a full 52 inches if you have the legs fully expanded. So to use the crank, you just simply need to turn it. Um, that would be clockwise and it'll go all the way to the highest height and then you want to secure it lock it in place with the knob that's on the side. To extend the legs there are two locking brackets there. So here I'm just extending the lower part of the legs and you just simply flip the lock back and then when they extend you lock them back up again. That allows you to still use it on, say, a tabletop or if you're not going to be filming anything that's very high. When you want to go ahead and move this onto the ground, you can further um, lengthen the legs on there. So as you can see, this is hitting me right about waist height. So now if I extend the second part of the legs and then lock those back in place, it's going to give me a lot more height on that. So I'm going to be able to get anything that I'm taking a photo or video of more at my face height. And again, I can still adjust it right from there. So you can adjust the tablet to do either horizontal or vertical recording, which is a great feature on there too. So once you're done filming and you wanna take everything apart, you can just simply um, release the lever on the very top and take the whole bracket off. Turn the periscope part down and then simply pull the legs back up into place and lock them. You can see this is a very fast process to do, so it just doesn't take any time at all. And we're finishing up that third one. And then all you need to do is from the bottom, push that part up and it simply all folds back together like you started out with. If you want to, um, you can go ahead and flatten down the top part as well, and then you can just simply put it in whatever case you're going to be using to carry it in. Now let's take a look at the tablet bracket. So again, that is spring-loaded. It takes quite a bit of force to get it down, but there are two different sizes of the brackets that you can use. So I had these smaller brackets on, but here's the larger bracket, and all you need to do is simply slide them into the channel. Um, I don't know if you can see very well, I didn't hold that pose very long, but it actually is a taller one. You can probably see it a little bit better there. And then um, the very back part of that, these are going to come separately in the package. So you just simply take the ball and push it into the socket, and then you tighten the nut right around that, and that will lock it right in place. But again, those do come apart quite easily. Um, that makes it easier for you to package that up as well. 
Now I want to show you the Bluetooth dongle, so that allows you to use this on either your um, Apple or your Android tablet or phone as well. And that allows you to use the shutter so you can take either photos or videos of this. And I'm going to show you here in just a second how this looks a little up close. So now I have my tablet in the stand. I'm using my iPhone to do the recording. And all I need to do is turn it on on the side. I've already gone ahead and paired it. And then once it's turned on, just press the button. There's a one button for Apple and one for Android, but that went ahead and took the picture. And now I can actually start my recording in this mode and then also end the recording from there. So that's great because sometimes I'm having to actually take pictures of myself and I don't like using the timer feature. So I can just simply use that and it works out great. So I'm very impressed with this entire system. They've given me a lot of equipment to work with. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks so much.